I'm like, I had just met you. I'm like, I wonder what type of guy he is. Yeah. And then I see him race my buddy within 25 seconds of being on the highway. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I see what's going to happen And it was kind of cold, too. It was like, four, what, 45 this morning? It was morning? like 45 yeah, this morning. Yeah. 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 Uh, went to a Cars and Coffee. It's only my second one I ever went to. I met up with a good friend, Nick, who has a 720-wheel 03 Cobra. And he was telling me that um, his buddy in a modified ZR1 was coming. And, uh, you know, I had never met the guy with the ZR1, so we, we meet up at a small spot right before Cars and Coffee. And, uh, you know, I figured the guy was going to want to do a pull with me because he told, he told him about my, my car a little bit. And, um, you know, he, he pulls into the parking lot and he's revving his thing, he's revving his ZR1 up. I'm like, yeah, this guy wants to run. So, anyways, if we can see the pulley and the belt are off the car and I'll give you a little sneak peek. There are many pieces to the belt. So I got a few small little pulls. I did two pulls against the um, uh, ZR1 and I did two pulls against the uh, Cobra. They were real kind of short, quick pulls. Traffic was a little heavy. And like I said, I'm not trying to go to prison. So uh, take a peek, tell me what you think. And I will put in what happened because I thought I blew the motor up, not gonna lie. This is the uh, ZR1 we did a quick pull with. I didn't get a really good pull in, but I don't think it would have been that close. I gotta ask them what, what's done to it. Now the Cobra. This is on the uh, Whipple 2.9, same blower I have, but not the Crusher. All right, all right guys. So I actually found the guy with the uh, ZR1. His name is Franco. How you doing? So what's so so uh, what's done to it? So we'll start from the front to the back. We have k and carbon fiber intake. Then we have the Nick Williams 102 boosted throttle body. Then we have the ported snout, which I ported up to 106 millimeters, uh, match ported to the supercharger. Uh, still the stock supercharger, but I, then I went ahead and upgraded the intercooler bricks with the Kong heavy duty bricks. And is, uh, it's a ported, is the blower itself ported? No, it's just match ported. So the, match ported, the, the yeah, entrance okay. going, the inlet basically. Because they do make up. ported superchargers. Yes. These, just like the Cobra. Yeah, that would be yeah. a lot more work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Port yeah. out the whole thing. Yeah. But I only match ported. And this is a TVS 2350, right? Yes, no, I believe so. 20, It's not the 26, it's the 23. 2300. 2300, yeah. 2300. And then from there, Kong heavy duty bricks. Uh, also... Uh, ID 1050X injectors. Oh, yeah, 1050s, yeah. Yep. So that cooks two inch primary headers, no cats. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah, your car's yes. loud. <laughs> and it still has the stock axle back. Uh, what else? Also, clean air separator here. No, it looks nice. Dry pump, Mighty Mouse catch can. I isolated the intercooler lines going to the front. Uh, what else? Uh, what and this was tuned on the same dyno my car was tuned on. Yes, yeah. By Josh. By Josh, yeah, yep. I was tuned by Pete. Upper pulley. Oh yeah, that's right, the, I keep on forgetting, the upper pulley. So it has a Griptech 2.35 upper pulley. Make it 16 pounds. Yes, 16 pounds. Pure pump gas. 93, yes. 93. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it really moves, it sounds we didn't, great. We didn't get like a super clean run in because I was a little bit worried about traffic. Yeah. It was funny because getting on the highway, I'm like, I never race on this highway. And I'm like, I had just met you. I'm like, I wonder what type of guy he is. Yep. And then I see him race my buddy within 25 seconds of being on the highway. I'm like, all right, I see what's going to happen And it here. was kind of cold, too. It was like, four, what, 45 this morning? It was morning? like 45 yeah, this so morning, yeah. so we had to be careful. <laughs> yeah, but we got yep. a little clip. I'll, I'll show you what happened. It was a pretty good run. Yeah, so I, I think I named all the main... 
kind of improvements And it made over seven, right? Over seven? Yeah. Uh, 724 observed number and 700 SAE. 700 SAE. Yep. yep. And it's like 500 pounds lighter than my car, so that's where... Yeah, and so there's a lot more work I can do to the car. Yeah. I haven't done cams or, you know, heads Cam. on it. Yeah, well, see, we had to yeah, do four yeah, cams. single cam, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And you actually have what's called aerodynamics. When we, um, on the Cobras, we don't have aerodynamics. Yep. Styles there, no aerodynamics. Looks great. <laughs> Kong, Kong offers obviously the uh, Kong uh, snout and supercharger. We're going to have to talk to Josh. We're going to have to get you yeah. a 100 octane tune. The oh, smaller really? pulley. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going yeah. to have to. I have to have a rematch. Yeah. The first pull with the Cobra, you know, I, I took him by a few cars pretty easy, pretty quickly. And uh, he said the second one, give me the hit. So I gave him the hit and I started a gear, uh, a gear lower than him. And um, I started pulling him in, started reeling him in, shifted three to four. All of a sudden the car had no power and there's smoke billowing out of the um, heat vents. And like I said, car had no power. Power. I had smoke behind the car, smoke in the engine bay, and I'm like, great, here we go. Look at the brake dust coming out of the hood. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I just got home from the cars and coffee. Yeah, this is my friend Nick's car. We were doing a little pull, just messing around in a course. Uh, I do the 3-4 shift and I see a shitload of blue smoke. There's actually, it was smoking out of the hood vents. I see smoke behind me. I said, great, what happened? I just blew the motor. Nope. The supercharger belt completely disintegrated and luckily, luckily, it stayed on there just enough, but you can actually see it on the tensioner. Something happened. Something came out of alignment. I don't know if my tensioner let go, um, but this was a best case. Here I am thinking I blew the motor up. I mean, there's there's shards of rubber all over the engine bay. Um, it's it's completely torched. I'm lucky I didn't blow a coolant hose or something like that. But uh, this really is best case scenario. Look, there's more of the rubber right here. I mean, it's it's all over the hood. It's, it's all over this pulley right here. Something happened. I thought the blower locked up. I thought something tragic happened, but this is really is best case scenario. Yep. You so. can see the grip tech pulley is complete. There's melted rubber all in the pulley here. So I don't even know if that's able to come out. It's melted rubber all over this. I mean, it got my hands, it's literally like sticky. It's like somebody did a burnout on my uh, on my pulleys, and you can see all of the chunks of the belt. This is actually what it drove home on, about four ribs. And if you lose a belt on a Cobra, you, you lose your alternator, which our cars blow alternators anyways. Um, but this this really was best case scenario. Like I said, of course I'm racing, and all of a sudden no power, blue smoke coming out the hood. I'm like, oh god, here we go. But um. This really is best case. So, thanks guys. <laughs> oh, you weren't recording at all. I had to know it was going. You gave it to me and it was going, wasn't it? No. <laughs> now it's recording.